okay. Verse 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Mm. Mm. Verse 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Where I wanted to get attention is verse 1 and verse 2. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That means God is not the he he was talking about. Because um, John, when we read, told us that this person was with God. Amen. So he talked about God here. So God is not in the, in the list. It's not in the options. Then in verse, in verse um, 2. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. That means the Spirit of God is not among the least. Because the Spirit of God was moving. But he said this person was with God. So wherever God was, he was there. And you get what I'm saying? The Spirit of God was moving. So he was not with God. So there must be somebody who we must talk about if the Trinity must be complete. We have mentioned God. We have mentioned the Spirit of God. There is one guy. Go back to Genesis, uh, to John, John chapter 1, where we read earlier. The book of John chapter 1. From verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. That means, wherever we see the word, we can put Him. Praise the Lord. Not she. Him. Not them. Him. A singular tense. In fact, the English language taught us that it's a personal identity. Him. It's singular. It's not plural. So let's look at it. We can put him wherever we see the word. So we can say, in the beginning was the him. And the him was with God. And the him was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by the word. Remember, him took the place of the word. So the word would take the place of him. So that it would be 50 50. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So now, verse, verse 3. All things we are made by the word. Can I hear your loudest thing there? Yeah. He said, All things we are made by the word. And without the word was not anything made that was made. In him was life. In the world was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Listen to the child of God. That him we are talking about, his name is Jesus. He was with God from the beginning. And the Bible made us understand that he is the world made flesh. Mm. And he dwelt among men. And we behold his glory. Now, I have the audacity to read in verse 3 again. He said, all things we are made by Jesus. Even death is a servant to Jesus. That's right. He said, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. What does this mean? I want to talk to you. Anything that is not made by Jesus in your life is fake. It doesn't exist. Refuse it. Because the Bible tells us that all things were made by him. There was nothing that was made that was by him. There was nothing that was made that would have been made without him. So any product, anything in my life, in my family, in my career, in my business that doesn't look like what Jesus makes, I have to reject it in my life. That's right. You know, this is why the Bible says, those that know they are God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. You must know the personality of Jesus so that you can know the kind of things he can do. You come into your house and tell you this thing belongs to your younger brother. I say, no, this is not my brother's size. I know his size. It doesn't belong to him. 
That is why I, I want to remind you of the personality of Jesus. I want to make you understand. I want to make you rethink, meditate, consider the personality of Jesus. Mm. Other people came up on the scene and they said, I know the way. Buddhi came up and said, I'm going to show you the way. Come, let's go on an adventure. That's the founder of Buddhist, of Buddhism. He said, come, I'm going to find the way. Let's go on an adventure. Let's discover the way out of life. Muhammad came and said, no, I'm a prophet sent from God. I'm a messenger sent from God. Oh, 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 Lumba, he came and he said, I am anointed of God to solve the problems of man. Lots of them, they showed up. But when Jesus came, he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. He did not say, don't look for the way anymore. I am the way. Accept me, you have accepted the way. Listen to me. The way to influence your generation is with Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the trusted way. He's the only way. He's the only way. Listen to me. Anything you add to Jesus reduces him. Anything you add to the power of God in your life reduces the power of God. The, the, the potency of the word of God is when it stands alone because Jesus died on the cross alone for you. He did not need any help. He did not need any angel to assist him. Say to your neighbor, I don't need any help. I need only Jesus. I need only the word. Because we've made an agreement that wherever we see Jesus, that's the word. Because the Bible said so. So when I'm talking about Jesus, I'm talking about the word. And then somebody begin to ask the question, then what is the word? Are you telling me everything in the Bible is the word of God? Yes, everything in the Bible is the word of God, but not all of them is meant for you. As people, as influencers, people who are going to influence our generation with the gospel of Jesus, people who are going to influence our generation for good, who are going to be causing good news, who are going to be creating things in the world that's going to be making up busy new ways, pathfinders. If we are going to be such people, the Bible is telling us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible endorses it in the book of John that there was nothing created for. If he created in the time past, he can create again. Yes. Maybe you don't understand. Let's go back. Genesis. So that you will, you will get the picture. Genesis chapter 1. Hmm. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. I stopped there. The earth was without form. <laughs> I'm looking at the young people. Most times, you know, your life looks as if it doesn't have form. You don't even know where you are heading to. Sometimes you just feel like, uh -uh, what is happening? If you've been in that shoe before, can you raise your hand? You're just like, oh, I don't know what's happening in my life. I, I don't know where I'm headed to. I don't really know how it looks like. I cannot really predict my future. Relax, it's in the Bible. The Bible says this act you are looking at everywhere is looking so nice. The Bible tells us it was without form. That's your future that looks as if it doesn't have shape. It looks as if it's outward bar. You know, when we were met in school, it was easy to draw member because it doesn't have shape. So once you see it in the examination, the day you draw that member, you are happy. Just put your hand like this anyhow. So the earth was like Amweba. Hallelujah. The Bible said it was without form and void. You know what it means to be void? It means to be invalid. When they say we've rendered your result void, null and void, that means it didn't have essence. It was it was relegated. It was not a factor. Am I talking to young people that have felt as if they are not a factor in the community? Am I talking to people who have felt like in their family nobody considers their opinion? You know that you know it. You know that you know the right answer. But when you are giving it to daddy, nobody is listening to you. That's say, what do you know? It is it just which day you enter medical school? What do you have to offer? And then there's somebody who is thinking of a kind of business to do. And you look at your bank account, you say, this one is void. It's too small to go into business. Is it with these $200 they sent to me that I'm going to invest? 
Is it, is it me that is managing to pay my school fees? The Bible says the earth was without form and void. It was without form, sir. I don't even know, dear friends, that the Bible does not exaggerate. If it says it, that's the way it is. Or that's the way it was. Scripture tells us, and darkness, hey, darkness was upon the face of the deep. That means you look at the home, all you see is darkness. You look at your future, all you see is darkness. You look at your family, all you see is darkness. You look at the situation, all you see is darkness. You look at the country God is sending you to, all you see is darkness. God is telling you go back to Africa. You look at Africa, all you see is darkness. The God is telling you go into women ministry. You look at it, all you see is darkness. God is telling you go and start up a hospital in that local government, in that state, and all you see. I have good news for you. Mm. I have good news for you. Amen. The Bible said, and the Spirit of God, Hallelujah. and the Spirit of God Amen. moved upon the face of the waters. Amen. I want to explain that thing in, in a domestic term so that you understand. You know what it means? The Spirit of God moved. The Spirit of God, I like some commentary that say, the Spirit of God was with Maroli. Now, as a young boy, do you find yourself wandering from one vision to the other? You want to, you are thinking, okay, maybe I should go into this thing. Maybe I should go into this one. Maybe I should, you are just with Maroli. I've I, I, been in that situation before. Today you feel like being a, a neurosurgeon. Tomorrow you feel like being a pediatrician. Tomorrow you feel like being a cardiothoracic surgeon. Tomorrow you feel like uh, doing networking. Tomorrow you feel like doing information technology. Tomorrow you feel like, oh, okay, no, let me go and do Cisco. Let me go and get Oracle. This, no, 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 let me do a, a master's in business administration. You are just free maruli from one place to the other. Relax. God is in charge of your life. Amen. Or maybe what the doctor says today about marriage. You found yourself falling in love with different girls, being attracted from sister A to sister B. Don't worry, after tonight you will gain direction. Yeah. I said after this camp meeting, you will gain direction. Yeah. The Spirit of God was moving, moving. Ah, when the Spirit of God was, I can imagine what the stupid devil will be saying. He said, What is that we are doing? He's moving from Jack of all trades, master of none. But he never knew, he never knew, he never knew the Alpha and Omega who knew. Of the beginning, who are saying better is the end than the beginning, and it's not little, but little is much when God is in it. If you believe what I'm saying, say yes. yes. And the spirit of God was with Maroni. <laughs> he was working from brother A to brother C. He was working from Ukraine to UK to London to America to Ukraine everywhere. Asia, Malaysia, you've gone from one place to the other. Yet there is no success. Relax, God is in control. Amen. Your father, he has done this business. He has done the other business. In fact, they've called him chartered businessman. <laughs> He's done different things. Different things. The Bible said the Spirit of God was moving on the face of the waters. I, 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 I want to tell you something. I want to make you see something. Look at that word there. Face of the waters. That means it was a superficial movement. It wasn't deep. That means at the surface we cannot catch any fish. Is that true, sir? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Can you catch fish at the surface of the water? No. no. The Bible said the Spirit of God was moving on the surface of the water. Ah, oh, I know there are some people, they have labored in life. They have gone from one place to the other. They seem not to be a success. They have tried this one, they have tried the other one, and things are not working out. They are not getting the mega hits. They are not getting the catch. God's word to you. I prophesy to you. There is an anointing coming upon your life to give you the mega hit. If you believe it, can I hear louder? Amen. It was a face, a surface movement. Surface. They were just scratching. Some people call it hustling. They were just hustling. You know, try here and try there. Nothing is happening. We, we think we just see how it will happen. Say to yourself, I'm not a hustler. I'm not a hustler. I'm not a hustler. I've got an inheritance in the kingdom. I've got an anointing upon my life. It's an upward and forward life. 
Up one unto God. Forward unto men. He said, upon the face of the waters, this Bible is true. After all the movement, after all the struggle, look at what brought the results. Let's go. In verse 3. And God said. <laughs> look at them and say, and God said. And God said. Hey, this thing makes me celebrate. It makes me excited. It makes me happy. I want to talk to you how God said. Let's look at it. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Take notes. The Bible earlier never mentioned light. All it mentioned was darkness. Stop talking about what you are seeing. Talk about what you want to see. Amen. He showed up in an atmosphere where everything that was happening was darkness. He entered a community where everybody could only be a millionaire in Naira. He did not say, Lord, make me a bigger millionaire in Naira. He came and said, make me a millionaire in dollars. <laughs> Others have been making a mega hit of just maybe 10,000 people in the crusade. He didn't come and say, Lord, maybe, maybe 11,000. He said, Lord, I need 10,000 of different countries. Amen. That's the character of our Papa God. See, nobody has talked about light before. Tell your neighbor, you are about to do something they've not heard about. Hey, you are not sounding as if you want to influence your generation. Say, say it as if you mean it. You are about to do something they've not been heard of. You are a pathfinder. You are a pathfinder. You are a pathfinder. God's word says so. I want to tell you something. Look at it. It's like, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. Did you hear the devil's voice? He didn't talk. That devilish voice that I've been talking in your destiny is because the word of God had not spoken. Because when God says yes, no man can say no. No devil can say no. No witch can say no. No wizard can say no. No occultic man can say no. No alcoholic abiller can say no. If you believe it, shout yes. yes. And no night vigil, he only said. No fasting and prayer, he only said. Lay hold of what God has said about you. All men may be liars, but let go. <laughs> hey, brother, I'm freaked about what God is saying about me. Amen. Uh huh. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Did he, he did not say, Angel Michael will bring light. Angel Gabriel, go and bring touch light. Bring, bring, bring. Come, come and combine. You don't need connection for God to do something in your life. There is an anointing upon your life that when it begins to speak, no man can ignore it. Yes. He did send Angel Michael. He didn't send Angel Gabriel. He only said, and God said. And you know, I like the Bible because it has every details. Look, look into your Bible. And God said, let there be light. Did you see exclamation mark there? He did not shout. He did struggle, sir. In fact, look at it. It was a colon. That means he said it and continued to say. <laughs> Am I talking to you? When you finish talking about it in this camp meeting, you will go on your normal line. You want to leave something in the air. That thing will begin to talk for you. That thing will begin to speak on your behalf. He did not shout. He spread the level. He spread the level. Don't be a muscle like baby, please. It's not my muscle, sir. It's my grace. I said it's my grace. Hey, somebody shout! Can they do a ha? How did they do a ha? Ask God. He's my manager. Are you giving the message? Yes. Yeah. No. The arms of men will fail. Mm -hmm. The help of men will fail. Mm -hmm. 
have they even helped themselves? <laughs> you think they'll finish helping their brother to start to consider you? Please stop joining the line. Make a line. Amen. Amen. What? Stop joining the line. Make a line. We are going to embarrass constitutions. We will embarrass policies. We will embarrass traditions of men. We will embarrass the expectation of people. Because we didn't come to fulfill their expectation. We came to fulfill the expectation of Elohim. We came to fulfill the expectation of the I am that I am. The living of the valley. The bright and the morning star. He that this and needs to come. He that says yes and nobody can say no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter their record. We break the record. Yes. Amen. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That's what God said. That's what God is God is lying. But I know he's a man that he cannot lie. Yes. He's a man that he cannot lie. Go on. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. I want to explain something deeper about this, this scripture. If you notice, when he said, let there be light, and there was light, he didn't stop there, he continued. Listen to me, you will not have just one hit. Amen. You will not just have one success Amen. record. Amen. You will have one, and the first will be lesser than the second. Amen. The third will be better than the second and the first put together. Amen. That is the character of our God. Amen. That is the character of our God. It's only upward and forward. I've never had a better yesterday. I've never had a better yesterday. Mm -hmm. I've never had a better yesterday. I, I, I pity Christians who say those good old days. Good old days. Please go back to the village. You don't belong here. We are talking about now. <laughs> we are talking about people who are going to influence 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. Even when they die, their influence are not died because their influence was on God. The I am that I am him that is the same yesterday and forever. That's what we are talking about. A generational influence, not just 10 years, not just two years, not just one year, not just six months. Relax. This God I'm talking about, He can do it for you. That's why He's talking to you about it. Hmm. Is somebody feeling something inside already? Yes. Are you feeling something staring up inside of you? That's the bigger you. He's inside saying, ah, that's me they are talking about. He said, you brother John, just allow me come out. If I come out, you will know that I am created by God. Just allow me, just allow me. Stop thinking the way you used to think. I am about to do a new thing. Stop doing it the way you used to do it. Begin to do it the way God wants you to do it. Because the anointing brings transition and transition sets in. Hmm. Because I'm seeing a church, I'm seeing the people that are transiting from one level to the other. Amen. The people of the world call it change of levels. <laughs> but for us, we are at a level that doesn't change. Amen. See, listen, class is permanent. Once a king, ever a king. Once the child of a king, ever the child of a king. That's who we are. That's what the word of God says we are. And we believe it. We believe it. No matter what happens, no matter what the devil says, he's a liar and the father of liars, even his mother-in-law. They are all liars. <laughs> we know that if you enter their house, you will smell perceiving a lie everywhere. 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 But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. All you need is Jesus. To influence this world, to influence this generation, to make a mark, all you need is Jesus. Mm. You must relate with this Jesus. There is no other answer. Listen, technology is not the answer. Advertisement is not the answer. In fact, they could make you, they could advertise you, and all people will be seeing is the bad side of you. You could want connection, and those you will connect are those ones that don't even want you to succeed. You could be looking up to an uncle and that your uncle is even measuring you with his first son. All you need is Jesus. Raise your hand and say, all I've got is Jesus. All I've got is Jesus. That's why you're not born again, I pity you. I pity you, sir. But before you leave community, make sure you get born again. Make sure. It's important. It's important.
It's very important. I want to show you something in verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to take note of something. The Bible says, and darkness was on the surface, on the face of the deep. What does that mean? That situation where it's as if there is darkness is just superficial. It's always, it's only surface. The source, there is light inside. That thing you are involved in, it looks as if it's dark. I bring God's word to you. There is light beneath it. There is light in the inside. Don't give up. God's servant, Pastor Promise, was just telling us about the man of God who says he took his place. He dug until he found the gold. Listen, that place God has positioned, you'll be established on it. You will influence your generation. Amen. Yes, others may be making waves with this one. They are waves, it's not your waves. You have been fabricated in a special way. In a special way to function. In our in our in our life, in our training course for workers in our ministry, there's a call in a course we call it the call of God. We tell them there's no senior call and there's no junior call. There's no small call and there's no big call. All calls are the same. All calls are the same. I know some people call it international and local calls, but in the, in the computer room, all of them have the same wavelengths. The same. It's only geographical location. If you know God, what God has placed in your heart, it is not just meant for the locality. Pastor told us it's generation. Amen. It's generation, sir. I know you are thinking, I schooled in Ukraine, so I cannot go too far. Listen, the iPhone is designed in America, but it's, uh, it's assembled in China. Amen. And it's sold all over the world. <laughs> you are designed in heaven, fabricated in Ukraine. You can go anywhere in the world. Yeah. You can. You can. You can. Devil is a liar. He's a big liar. The devil, you went to Susan so State University. Who told you Jesus was born in a manger, but he didn't repent them? You want to influence your generation. And they tell you you have a black skin. And they tell you you are of a lesser age. Uzziah was at the age of seven and he ascended the throne. Age is not a factor. And he's too young. I remember a dear young lady who told me one time the first time I preached in my city and the girl said they don't find him his vibration, he's just a small boy. And after saying that it was just one month time, her mother was hit with a stroke and while she was hit with stroke, I was in that meeting and I mentioned that case, I didn't pray, I left. Get around to my room, say pastor please pray for me. Then I was sitting in the hostel, pastor please pray for me. If not God, I would have told that baby says vibration. <laughs> But thank God I'm born again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I would have told that, ah, okay. I thought you said it's vibration. Listen to me. There is an anointing that God, <laughs> when God told Pastor Terry to influence in our generation, he was not joking. He was not cracking jokes. He meant it. So the grace is given to us in this camp meeting. It is for influence. Amen. It is for personal influence. Listen to me. Influence is stronger than control. That's right. Yes. Control is dictatorship. Influence is lordship. Amen. Control you do it by force. I must say. I've got they've got to notice me. Notice me. They've got to notice me. You must know. You must know. God has got me. You must know. You must know. I am anointed. You must know. I saw a book. You must know. I'm doing medicine. In fact, I went abroad. That one is called control. You are marketing yourself. <laughs> hey, but there is an anointing where the Bible says the first shall be the last. It doesn't matter when you showed up, sir. It doesn't matter when you showed up, sister. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size. Go and read about David. The Bible said David was a small, rudy boy. You know what it means, rudy? It is like a stone that a, a shapeless stone. He's rudy. He not send people like he's on, on his own. He doesn't give it down. Listen, have people gossip to you and say you are too proud because of what God has deposited inside of you? And they tell you that boy, that girl, is as if he used to feel himself. But I'm telling you, the Bible say, those that know their God, they shall be strong. They shall be <laughs> They shall move in glory. They shall move in communion. They spread their shoulders and they begin to walk. 
because they know who they are. Sir. It is not pride, it's called self esteem. Right. It's self esteem, sir. Oh, you want us to be walking like this? Mm -mm. No, we raise it up, spread our shoulders, and begin to walk in the name of Jesus. But the grace upon our life, <laughs> that anointing upon our life. Amen. I tell them all the time, humility is not in the way you walk. See, those men that walk like this, they will beat their wife at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You take you take my weakness is weakness to give her a push. <laughs> but fine boys like us will tell her, check us out. You <laughs> will miss us. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my Lord. Hallelujah. Are you getting the message? Tell yourself I'm an influence. To light. The more light you have, the more joyful you become. Turn your Bible, Psalm 119, verse 130. Remember, I'm talking to you, influencing your generation with the word. Hmm. He don't do one again in a big way. Jehovah don't do one again in a big way. He don't do one again. In a big way, Jehovah don't do a big way. In a big way. Listen to me, I know God is telling me some people's mistake will begin to be celebrated as now. As now. Go and study about choreography. It was a mistake of ballet. It was a mistake of ballet dance. And that's how choreography came. Why cry over the mistake? Why we bother the mistake? Coming in contact with this world will begin to pop up things around for you. It will begin to break laws of limitations. I read to you. 119 verse 119. The entrance of thy words giveth light, O God. It giveth understanding unto the simple. It giveth understanding unto the simple. The entrance of thy words. As you are seated there now, the word of God is entering you. Amen. Pastor Shola gave us the first message of faith. He entered you. He brought light 10%. <laughs> he came again this morning, gave you another one. He brought light 20%. Here am I again, giving you another one. It may bring light 5%, but it's no longer 10%. It's now 25 Amen. That means I am right to prophetically declare that you cannot live here the same way you came. Darkness of ignorance, darkness of occultic manipulation, darkness of, 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 the, of the complications of the system of this world. That when we come with the light of God's word, we begin to pass away. We we'll begin to go with their father. He said it, it brings, it giveth light. It giveth light. I, I, want, to, I want to make you understand something. Promotion cometh not from the east, nor from the east, from the west. It cometh from the Lord. That means the light I'm talking about is not the one you buy. It is the one that is given to you. That means it is a calling that cometh from above. It is, it is a divine appointment that comes with an empowerment. That when it comes upon your life as you receive it, you begin to have a kind of understanding that makes you simple. Then your future becomes simple. You no longer struggle to succeed. It becomes simple. And hear me, I tell you, it is your understanding about a matter that makes you outstanding in that thing, in that field, in that calling. For instance, I have a better understanding of physics. It's going to make me outstanding in the examinations of physics. If I have a better understanding of anatomy, I will definitely be better in the course of anatomy. And I'm telling you, there is an understanding about success. There's an understanding about influence. There's an understanding about prosperity that is coming upon your life that is going to make you outstanding in the course of profession, in the course of your career, in the course of your calling, in the course of your destiny, in the course of your marriage, in the course of your business, in the course of what God has designed for you. It was not designed by man. It wasn't designed by your university. It wasn't designed by your passport. It wasn't designed by your visa. It wasn't designed by your room. It wasn't designed by the devil. It wasn't designed by witches. It wasn't designed by
designed by the president, it was designed by the company, it was designed by Elohim, it was designed by the young that I am, it was designed by him that says yes, I don't put it and say no, it was designed by him that lived forever and ever, it was designed by the Holy One of Israel, it was designed by him that dwells in the Holy of Holies, if you believe what I'm saying, can you write for your feet and say yes? The devil is a liar, even his mother-in-law. Yes. Yes. to say this, God punish the devil. Oh, Listen to me, when the devil comes out of Christmas, who don't know who they are, he begins to do as if he's somebody. But in this meeting, we are going to put him where he belongs. Yes. We will. We will put him where he belongs. Yes. Put him where in your career. We will put him where he belongs. Yes. In your destiny, who we'll put you where you belong? Yes. The Bible says the son of man shall bruise the head of the serpent. Bruise the head of the serpent. Take your seat. <laughs> I read verse 21. Verse 21. When we started, it said the entrance of thy words, give it light, it give it understanding unto the simple. Then it went for that to say, I opened my mouth and panted. For I longed for thy commandments. He's beginning to tell us some principles. When you look at what commandments, you can talk about instructions. Listen to me, for you to fulfill your destiny, you've got to receive a divine instruction. God telling you, son, 